Welcome back everyone to week 12 of this mentorship teaching you how to trade from start to finish and everything in between everything in here everything in the charts we're going to go through everything eventually but one week at a time because we need to make sure the building blocks are built well otherwise it doesn't matter how tall you build the tower it's going to come crashing down so week 12 risk management deep dive so we're just diving deeper into what we talked about last week and getting more technical. So you're going to want to think percentages, not dollars. And I know we have bills, everything, it requires money. So I don't recommend you focus on this as income for the first couple years. I know you want to get into trading because you could get rich now. And some people get lucky and do. And if they manage it well and learn, hey, all power to you but for the most part there will be wins losses maybe more losses than wins at the beginning so think percentages not dollars don't say i have a have a rents thousand fifteen two three thousand whatever right i need to make that a month because that's going to set you up for over trading taking riskier trades when your setup's not when your setup's not there and just make you focus on trying to make money which when you start doing that, in return, you make no money or lose money. So let's just think about percentages. The, the money will come in the long run if you could keep pulling this certain percentage. If you do 1% a day, can you make 1% in a day? Or maybe 3% a week. That is going to start to snowball versus $1,000 this week, every week or 3000 every month because I need to pay rent or something, right? So we could always get more capital in the future is what I'm trying to get at. So get a 25K account now or your paper trading, whatever. Start small. Can you hit the terms, right? Like, can you pass the challenge, A? But not only can you pass that challenge, but can you be consistent in that live account? You know, are we going to compound 1%, 2% a week? And by the end of the month, we grew that account 5%, 6%, right? 8%, whatever it comes out to. And maybe that's only, let's say you did 2% or 3%. Maybe you only had 500 750 bucks, right? That's fine because, hey, you just made that much money by trading, right? So now that's extra income that you have. But now if you prove to yourself you could do it, and now you trade two 25K accounts, now you're at 1400 a month. And with Apex, you're able to scale up as much as you want. Uh, well, not forever, right? But as you want to grow your capital and make more money, don't worry about changing your strategy and trying to make like take bigger wins, right? Just add more capital. Keep doing your one, two percent a week over and over again by adding twenty-five K account. Another twenty-five K account. Now you're ten counts down and that two hundred and fifty dollars that you have consistently made over and over again with your trades, add a zero on that. Now you're at two thousand five hundred, right? And you scale up that way. Again, so if you have a certain setup and you're, you know, we make 250 bucks a trade or it's a one to one, right? What you're risking this, you win that one to one. Why, when you get a live account, would you switch it to now I'm going to start trading? I'm going to risk one and make three. Because that's going to set you up for failure. You don't know if that's that edge works for you. You know that one to one or whatever you're, whatever you passed with and whatever you have data with. You know that's going to work for you. So why not just stick to that and then worry about adding more accounts to increase your money, not taking bigger trades. And now your, your, your brain's all over the place. You don't know where you're at, right? So long story short, think percentages, not dollars. So what I was talking about, a smaller account will not make you rich, but it will give you that proof of concept. And you want to be able to pull out consistent percent 
week over week, month over month, year over year, right? So if you can't beat seven, eight percent a year, better you just put your money in a long term account, S and P five hundred overall, or you get some dividend stocks, right? Like long term investing may be what you want to focus on, and just work, put money in, work, put money in, and keep growing that. So that snowballs years down the road. But if you can beat that and you do have an edge or you add this to that, which is what I'm doing, you got to think percentages, right? Let's, let's not worry about the dollar. Just it will snowball in time. Trust the process. Make sure you know the process and how to execute and it will all work out. And that's why we're building that proof of concept, right? Because we want longevity of this versus money today and maybe nothing tomorrow right and again it's gonna it's gonna work out in the long run if you stick to your plan and your plan works it'll work out it doesn't matter how you're feeling today because you know in time at the end of the month you're at a certain place right so something to think about and just understand Trust the process. Make sure you understand the process. Make sure the process is working. And there's a way to make that a bigger dollar amount by not changing anything, right? Let's talk about different styles. And mine is static but dynamic, if that makes sense. Um, so mine is a set dollar amount every trade. I don't scale up with the account or down with the account. I It's $250 max per trade, right? Now, what is dynamic is if I lose, my risk is increased um, in half. So, again, I take a $250 loss. My second trade, if I'm taking a second trade, like a setup forms that day, it's $125 risk. So I am cutting that in half. I'm not going to take 500 loss today. I'm going to take um, 375 right? So on the day, I'm only going to take a $375 loss versus if I did 250 twice, I'd have been 500 right? So I protect myself that way. But tomorrow's a new day. I reset. And for me, that is what I've been profitable with. I've tried different strategies and played it all out. And... Having that win, we're done for the day. Having a loss, if we do trade again, it's half. And then tomorrow's a new day. We're going to go back to normal risk because just because we're on a losing streak yesterday doesn't mean now today that losing streak is going to carry over. It may. It may just be a bad week. But for me, and again, my data shows I could make more money if I just reset every day and don't go past those two trades. Anytime I broke that two trade is when I opened myself up to losing a lot of money in one day. So you need to figure out your strategy and you need to test it, whether you're doing back testing, forward testing, paper trading accounts, or different accounts trade certain ways. And you could take the same trades, but different risk and then play it all out, right? We're in the long run. So focus on getting the data and finding your edge. So you could do a set dollar amount. You could do a percent on the account. So you could say, I'm going to do 1%. And if I go up, my account grows. It's 1% of what the account growth is. Or uh, again, if you go below your starting account, you're still doing 1%, but your risk is getting smaller and smaller, right? Um, and then you could do where every time you win, you increase the risk. It's kind of, um, I see a lot of uh, poker players or Blackjack players, like they, they push as the win streak keeps going. I Again, I tried it, and it ultimately led me just to a big loss. So didn't really care for that. Um, and then a loss decreases risk until a win. Try that again, but for me, I'm resetting the next day. Um, for the day, two trades, full, half, done. So whether you're going to use programs like FX replay or just trading view and try to back test or forward testing paper trading accounts track it that way we do make an excel sheet as well as other resources but the one i'm talking about is a trading dashboard 
you input the data from the trade and it will calculate everything so you know your winning days your winning percentage days what your average win was your average loss what days are your best days to trade and what's your worst days that um, you lost the most money on then it has tables that automatically calculate so you can see a broken down dollar amount by day um, shorts versus buys your money one loss if you're doing different symbols it breaks that down everything's automatic all you got to do is put the trade data in and all the calculations in the dashboard will update so if you want something like that link down below you'll be able to get access to all of our resources for life at one price so check that out if you're interested in that and i highly recommend if you don't use that figure out a system yourself that works for you where you're able to track your data and make the best decisions from what actually happened not what you think is going to happen so if you haven't already click subscribe click that thumbs up and we'll see you next week peace